Hello I'm Igor and welcome to my tech farm. One of the main topics of this channel is the filament testing and with this video I want to motivate a little bit those filament companies to put some basic information on the sticker of the spool, including the weight of the empty spool. It is important information if you want to know exactly how much filament we have on the spool. Of course if you are using the same brand then probably you already have an empty spool or you can measure the full spool or there are other methods I have a separate video about that. But as a filament tester, very often I have only one or two spools from one brand. And recently I was running out of, uh, from the filament on several spools and I noticed that sometimes it is very hard to find this information. Of course things may change in the meantime, but I cannot change this video. Uh, but I'm starting a new page on my website and that information I can upload. So if there will be some changes, please inform me. Now on this page I will have actually three additional columns. The uh, first one is if you have this information on the spool. The second is if you have this information on the product page on the website. And the third one because I noticed sometimes it is a little bit hidden so it needs additional click. For example in some PDF uh, data sheet or something like that or like in case of the proof cement we have to read this barcode so that will be the third uh, column. And uh, also I want to give some information to manufacturers According to me and uh, several friends I ask uh, what are those mandatory informations on the spool and what are some optional additional informations. First of all of course filament type and the color. Yes the color too. Of course we can see what is the color on the filament. But uh, let's say I want to order this exactly the same color and sometimes on the screen or on the web shop it is not exactly the same. So that's why it is important to have this information. Of course printing temperature range weight of the empty spool already mentioned and uh, from these uh, I'm not sure more than 10 filaments I think on one or two spools we have this information. Holes to lock the end of the filament and uh, dear manufacturer so distance between those holes should be approximately 4 or 5 centimeters because I cannot use these holes the distance is maybe less than 2 centimeters I will break the filament if I place back here. And it would be good if the manufacturers could follow some kind of standard. I'm not sure. I try to measure a lot of filaments. So these are the basic informations. The outer diameter is approximately 20 centimeters, 200 millimeters. The diameter of the hole, in most cases, it is 50 millimeters or bigger. And the width of the spool, approximately 70 millimeters. Okay. Just quick example. Uh, this, what is this, BQ. The diameter is much smaller, so you can see here, but of course uh, because of this we need a uh, bigger thickness of the spool. But with this uh, there are several spool holders on CD printers where it cannot uh, hold this filament. And also I have some filament dryers uh, which uh, cannot accept uh, this type of the spool. Now about one thing I'm not quite sure and that's the material of the spool. Because uh, more and more I can see a cardboard type of the spool which are good but they have more friction and uh, some printers or Bamboo Labs uh, color changing system cannot uh, hold this kind of spools. Uh, we can see completely plastic spools and actually we can see some hybrid versions like this plus cement. On the side it is from plastic and inside it is from cardboard. But definitely what I'm quite sure that uh, for example Fiberlogy this kind of spool <laughs> got uh, the most hated comments that uh, it used too much uh, plastic so uh, definitely they should reduce the amount of the used plastic with uh, this spool. And one more bad example. So this type of the cardboard spool is too weak and deforms too quickly. And now let's see some optional additional informations. Bed temperature, recommended bed temperature. Of course this may vary yet depending on the type of the bed. Uh, part cooling or print speed but this also varies from printer to printer. Uh, I believe it is very important uh, and useful to see the manufacturing date. Okay, So we can see if it is very brittle maybe we have to check it is, is it too old or something like that. And one last recommended information for the spool is the scale where we can see how much filament we have in grams or in meters. I know this is not too accurate, but uh, it can be useful. I mean, if I can see that uh, I have approximately 300 grams here on the spool, but I need 100 grams, I'm good. I don't need to measure the weight of the spool. But if it is too close, then okay, I know that I need some uh, more accurate uh, method to find out how much filament I have on the spool. Okay, now let's see them one by one quickly. 
I will start with Polymaker spool, which uh, actually have all the information I mentioned so far, including the weight of the empty spool. They have even this uh, holes for the locking end of the filament on correct distance. Maybe I would like to see some additional holes here. And even we can see in grams the, how much filament we have on the spool. Only thing I'm not sure with their filaments is this direction completely have the carbon spools good or not. Uh, if it is compatible with your printer, then definitely this is the good solution. This is the Prusament spool which they use and here you can see those informations we have on the spool itself. There is a barcode where we can read it and get the additional informations including the weight of the empty spool. And uh, I like this solution, so this is the hybrid one. Inside it is cardboard and only side is from the plastic and uh, we have a lot of space to lock the end of the filament. Now I noticed that this QR code is hardly visible on the filament itself. This is a recorded screen for my phone but it is very readable on the box itself. And this is the information, if you follow these things, uh, a lot of statistics and diameter, but basically from here, I only need the weight of the spool, it would be better if it would be written on the spool itself. Hedge box. This is the information we have on the spool itself and there is no information about the empty spool. And uh, look this holes, the distance is maybe 10 or 15 millimeters, so definitely uh, this is not good to lock the end of the filament because it will break. Usually I am using one hole here and the second is here when it goes inside. <laughs> this is the sun lock filament and this is all the information we have on the spool. We don't even have the information that this is the sun lock brand. And only on one side we have these uh, holes to lock the end of the filament, so definitely more should be required here. And definitely more additional information I would like to see on the sticker. Yes, and I can see the spool is very similar to the hedge box. And this is the information. So again, we don't have information about the weight of the empty spool. Amazon Basics, some information about the color and information about the print temperature, but no information about the weight of the empty spool. And uh, only two holes to lock the end of the filament. This is over to PLA and uh, here we have some basic information about the printing and I really like these scales. This is in grams and in meters. But again, I'm missing information about the weight of the empty spool. This is color fab, but it's new, so I don't want to take it out until I will not use it. And this is all the information we have. So we have some basic information about the printing temperatures. BQ, and this is much smaller in diameter, but bigger in thickness. So I have a lot of problems to dry this filament in some filament drives. And there are some printers which cannot hold uh, this type of the spool. And these are some basic information about this spool, printing temperature, we don't have a range, only it's given 205 degrees. This is Creality spool, with a lot of holes to lock the end of the filament. But this is all the information we have about this filament. This is Azure film, with a very unique design of the spool, with big holes, which is good because they will save a lot of materials, but maybe even too much, because I noticed that they are not so strong, and uh, a lot of times the end of the filament uh, the unrolling goes here because it deforms a little bit. And again, no information about the weight of the spool, only some printing and bad temperatures. Everyone gray PLA plus, and I tested several everyone filaments, dual color or some uh, smelling uh, filaments, and they, all the time they use two big sticker and they cover the holes for the ending log of the filament. And I wrote them every time, but it looks like they don't listen to me. And these informations which are available on this pool on several languages, but unfortunately no information about the empty spool weight. And this is 3D active from Poland and these dimensions are bigger again, another spool which uh, is too big for a lot of filament dryers and the spool holders. And absolutely no information on the spool, this is written by me. And this is PCTG by extruder, but uh, PETG type of the filaments are always in my receivable bags or in some vacuum bags. But you can see on the spool itself, not even recommended printing or bed temperature are included. On the box, yes, but uh, the box is the one of the first thing I'm throwing out when I open the filament. And this is the Fiberology PETG, but I will take it out for the moment. And this is that spool which got a lot of hated comments that it is too big and wasting a lot of plastic. And again, no information about the spool weight, only this recommended printing temperature and the material type.
I think there is no need for conclusions, but I will need your help to share this video if possible. I mean, I will send the email to every company which I got the filament from them and I have their contact, but uh, they will not take me serious if they see that this video has, I know, one or two thousand views. So I'm asking your help, try to share this on I know, Facebook, Twitter or whatever. I'm not too good in these social networks and uh, I believe that it will have some results. Okay, thank you for watching and happy printing.